How are you feeling? Good. Very good. How are you feeling the pressure from this VCC competition? A little bit. The competition is something. So when did you first hear about the VCC project? When the students started coming to my room wanting to borrow cameras and uh, the camcorder. Hi, my name is Brittany Grandstaff. I'm Donovan Gerke. And we did Local Flavor. We did Local Flavor uh, because we've been in this town for a while. Um, I've lived in this town since I was two. Um, we are a very rural farming community. Town only has about a little over 700 people in it. We have our public school, Pilot Grove C4, which is our high school. Um, in the entire high school, there's only a little over 100 kids, so we know everybody and it's just a small community. Our local flavor are deer. I did the shoelaces and the trim, which they correspond to the other shoe because it's orange red. We ended up finally figuring out how to do it with a base coat and then Sharpies. And then we went back in with paint to try to make it look thicker and more like fur because it was really splotchy and more of lines. Um, for the fur, I used a light brown and then went in with red, orange, and darker browns to make it look more like fur and used the red, orange to tie it in with the rest of the shoe. Um, the eyes were difficult to figure out. They're solid black, but the white and the cream around the edges are actually it's pure white and then the cream color is the undercoat from the fur and white mix. Um, the ears were sculpted by Lane Mize and then painted to match the fur and to look like ears on the inside. Uh, we drilled holes through the clay and through the shoe and attached them, attached them with bolts that Donovan cut short so they wouldn't be sticking out. Um, the antlers are drilled where we drilled pilot holes in them and then used decking, short decking screws and drilled through the shoe into the antler to hold them on. And uh, we cut the antlers down to size to make them about even. They're uh, actual they're deer actual antlers. Deer antlers. Yes. Hello, my name is Kayla, and I was part of the art shoe. We also combined two ideas from two different students. Um, this shoe acts as a portrait, and this shoe is a canvas. These portraits right here that are overlapping, which is myself, would be uh, looking like it's painting the shoe. That's the canvas that's sitting on the easel. For the easel, we took um, square uh, wooden rods to construct it, which Kale did. And then Kale also took oil paints and did a repetition pattern for the um, canvas shoe. Um, on this shoe, on the sides, is um, wooden paint brushes that we carried into the inside of the shoe. And then we put um, paint bristles on the back of it. And um, also on the background, uh, for the front of the shoe, we did arrows emphasizing that um, the canvas is to that side of the shoe. I'm Dustin. I'm Sasha. Um, and we did the extreme sports shoe. Um, we went around town and we took pictures of street signs and we painted some on, we collaged some on. This is a collaboration of two shoe design. Um, we had another student that thought it'd be a really cool idea to put street signs on the shoes. Um, I agreed, and then we did this, like, the, it's like a change of colors, like, here we have cool colors, here we have warm colors, and there's silhouettes across them. Um, we took a picture of me, so we just blacked it out and painted that on there. I, like, put wheels on the bottom of the shoe, but our, like, first design was, like, I had it to look like roller skates, but we changed that to look more like a skateboard. Um, we made these out of air dry clay, and then... We made them to like, we like carved them into a circle, or carved, we shaped them into a circle, cut in to look like there's a bolt there, and then we painted it to look like the, it matches the color of the tram, which on both shoes it's different. Um, on the inside, uh, we took the outside design and we carried in, so this one's collage with a whole bunch of street signs, and this one's the, this really dark color to like yellow. The bottom of the shoe, we took this really light, like it's it's paper, but 
like it's a really thin sheet of wood and we just cut it to be the shape of the shoe so it looked like it was like a bottom of a skateboard. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Samara. And we did the music shoes. These shoes were the ones that gave us the most problems and the ones that took us longest to design because we had two different ones or two different shoe designs that we wanted to use and we wanted to incorporate them but we weren't really sure how to do it. So um, one of the ideas, the entire shoe was a repeating pattern of radios and the other one was sort of colorful and it had different sculptural designs. So um, we continued on with the radios which Sam painted and I did this by mixing mainly grays and doing, taking the toothpicks and doing all the little designs in the radios and we have different kinds of radios and different designs and so we use that to do the whole front and top of the shoe. And then we kind of compromised with the art in the radio by doing the designs on the side and we have that on the top of that. Um, the design is meant to look like the frequencies or the signal coming out of radio towers we also have a little radio tower and our antenna to attach the two. Since we weren't really sure what to do for the sides, we decided to have this, or one of our artists, which was Kale, came up with the idea to put birch trees so that it looked like our little tower was standing in a forest. And then we have the antenna, which goes with the tower, and it just kind of ties the two shoes together and with the radios it kind of sends out the signals that we put on the side. Um, also for these sides we have two portraits of two of the students in our art classes. They are representing famous artworks but then they also have headphones so that they tie in with the music theme. We also combined the insides of the shoes with the outsides so that we had some sort of design in them. So on the shoe it's the birch trees and on that one it's the blue gradients. To tie it all together and keep it all flowing. Blue shoelaces and the blues in the gr two gradients match the blue in our sports shoe which ties those together. Our, these shoes match one of the sports shoes and then our local flavor shoes match one of the other sports shoes and then the art shoe has aspects or has colors and aspects from both. To tie all of our shoes completely together we have these sculptural units. On these, like we said, we have the tower and the antenna. On our art shoes we have our little easel that makes one of our shoes look like a piece of art. On the deer shoe we have the ears and then with the antlers on them which correspond with all of them with clay. And then on finally on our extreme sport shoes we have the little wheels that make them look like little skateboards.